Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. Initially, I wanted to do a graphic eyeliner look. I don't know if I told you guys that in the video, but I did. I tried. I failed. I moved on with my life, okay? Because it didn't work out. But this is what I came up with and I'm obsessed with this look. I did go ahead and end up playing with the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dreams palette. I haven't used this in forever. And honestly, I don't know why because these colors, yeah, I know I love like colors, like colorful palettes. So I'm not really sure why I haven't used this one, but I did go ahead and dip into it to play with today. And I love how this looks turned out. I haven't done my makeup in my makeup room in three and a half weeks. Okay, we just got home two days ago and I am obsessed with the kids are in here because But I love how this look turned out. And I'm feeling on my new ring like that. My baby daddy got me. And I love it. Okay. But if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look. Everything. The eyeshadow and all that. Then keep on watching. Okay. So I literally did makeup one time when I was home. And obviously since I wasn't home. I didn't have like my whole situation set up and all that so we're here today i'm gonna spray my face with this nyx bear with me prime set and refresh um multitasking spray this is a very light mist like i use this set my makeup but it's so light like i kid you not it's ridiculously light. So I'm going to take my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And then I'm going to do foundation. Then I'm going to do brows. Then I'm going to do eyes, I think. So for foundation, I was torn between using my Fenty Hydrating and my Lancome tinty doll but i haven't used my fenty in a while so i think i'm going to use sis because sis has been pretty neglected like i don't mean to neglect her but like it just happens she just gets neglected unbeknownst to me i mean beknownst to me but like what what honestly at this point i just be talking i don't be saying nothing i just be talking I'm not proud of it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not proud of that. I need to get my life together. I need to try. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I tried to do the eyeliner four times and it didn't happen. So I'm gonna let it die for today. I'm gonna revisit it. But today, this is what we got going on a cut grease, all matte look. Okay? Okay. So, because I just had to wipe my work, it was shitty, so doesn't matter. Um, because I had to wipe my work off, I had to rejudge my foundation and all of that, and my brows and all of that because it was so bad. But we're here and we're going to get started. So I'm going to be taking these two blues and this pink, okay. I don't want to have to keep picking the palette up. And showing you guys which is why i'm telling you all the colors i'm using all break you know so i'm gonna dip into that dark blue first this is a morphe brush i have no idea it came in the collection like three years ago so i don't know you know what what it's supposed to be but it's a morphe brush nonetheless and oh this is the lunar beauty strawberry dreams palette and i'm gonna pack this my crease in kind of like a circular motion not a circular motion a circular shape and i'm just i'm not blending it i'm just tapping my brush down my sound on my phone is on it never is on ever so it kind of just had me shook when it went off oh, just there. This palette is so pigmented. I really need to get my hands on some more Luna Beauty palettes. I really want that Life's a Drag palette and I keep putting off getting it, but I need it. Okay, 
Okay, so my biggest thing, my biggest problem when doing my eyes is getting them to look similar in shape, like my eyeshadow and everything, because my eyes are shaped different. So, like, I know you probably can't tell, but my eyelids, my spade is different, okay? So, it's a little difficult to get them looking. Like, I can get them to match, but, like, they're not going to be perfect, right? So, I'm just going to use the same brush and keep the side that had the product on it down. And use it to diffuse the edges. And then you're going to see it's gradually going to blend out on its own. These shadows are so good. Wow. Oh, I've used this palette before. I don't know why I'm acting like I haven't. But I haven't used it in a while. And I'm kind of shook. I'm not going to lie. Like, it probably doesn't look like it's diffusing. but Because it's diffusing, like, upwards in my eye. You can't really tell. But it definitely is diffusing. I don't want to take it too high with this brush because this brush is it's not big, but for the amount of space that I have on my lid, it's, it's not small. I mean, I don't have much space, you know, to work with. So now I'm going to take this brush. This is the M506 from Morphe and dip into that lighter blue. And I'm going to tap that along the edge. And we're going to buff this out. This is what we're going to use to diffuse those edges. I do like to take the color pretty close to my brow. Personally, you don't have to do that. Some people don't like it, but I do. So, <laughs> fight me. I didn't think so. So, this is what we're doing. And now we're doing circular motions to make sure everything is blended. I'm trying to make sure they look <laughs> similar. It's so hard. It's so hard. And on that side, I didn't have to go in with a separate brush to diffuse the edges. So I'm going to try not to do it on this side. But if I have to, I have to. This is that first brush again. <sighs> Eyeshadow literally doesn't look good until you're done. Like, at all. At all. Oh, so I'm gonna go on camera, cut my crease. You already know, I don't really do it on camera. It takes me a little bit, you know, too long. So if you guys wanna cut crease video, I'll do that. But like, I'm gonna go off camera. Okay, so I had to record a voiceover separately on my phone and not on my computer over my video. This is way too much. But I'm just going to go ahead and blend out these shadows on my outer corner. The two blues that I used. I'm pretty sure I used two blues. I don't remember. I'm doing this voiceover literally like a week and a half after I filmed this video. So that's a that's a thing in real life. So next I'm going to go ahead and use this pale pink on my lid. It's like a, I don't want to say salmon, but maybe like a salmon. It's given salmon. Yeah, it's definitely given salmon. I realized when I did the last voiceover and was watching this, I left a lot of clips in this video for you guys. Like, I literally didn't really cut out anything. Like, the bare minimum is what I cut out. Like, you'll see my lips moving here and there, but that's because I was on the phone with my kids' dad and the kids were being loud. So, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Liner and Mainline. It's just this blue for my top and lower lash line. We're here for quite a while. I'm not really sure why I dwelled on this for so long. But maybe somebody somewhere asked me how I put on my liner. Maybe this was for them. Maybe they asked but didn't really ask out loud. But they wanted to know anyway. I don't really know. 
So after I get done doing this for five minutes, literally, I'm going to be using my Fenty Concealer um, in 410 to highlight under my eye, down the bridge of my nose, up under my lips. And then I'm going to be taking my Black Opal Foundation Stick in Black Walnut to contour. It's a dip in there. It's not um, a fungus. It's I dipped my nail in there before, so it's just empty now as i record this the baby is crying so if you hear him crying bear with me please i'm gonna blend this out for an ungodly amount of time and let you guys see and then i'm gonna take a foundation brush to buff out my what's i about to say my concealer no my contour i'm sitting here dyeing my hair so like this dye is like just sitting here and well, I'm refreshing my color that I had. And this time when I refreshed the color, I used the same as that colors, but I left out one of the colors. And it was the color that deepened it up. So my hair is super bright this time. Way brighter than it's paid. And I have like a shower cap on. So that's also happening. I'm going to add this Laura Mercier powder under my eye. I got sidetracked because I wasn't even looking. I was looking out the window. But I, my powder don't always snap under my eye it don't always lay like this but like today well this day some makeup is not on today I look terrible but this day it was snapping uh, my morphe glamour bronze and leader i really fumbled the bag and i'm about to realize that i fumbled the bag using this brush i just realized it but I couldn't let y'all know I realized it. I bring it back. I recoup. I get it back. But for a while there, I was looking like I was missing it. It was a little bit too sharp for me. And I like to use a fluffier brush. And then just add in a little bit more setting powder if I need to, to clean it up in the middle. But I was really fumbling the bag this day. Seriously. Oh, wow. I leave all this in here. I don't think I realized this last time. Y'all don't care about all this. Now I'm actually bronzing. That's a Morphe brush. It's old as dirt. I got it in a set like three years ago. I'm use my Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio. My fave. Alamar Holla at your girl. Thanks in advance. Love you, boo. Like, who's excited for this year to come through with? Y'all, today's video is sponsored by blank. It doesn't even matter. I'm excited. It's happening this year. Watch. I'm going to have my first sponsored content. I'm just blending the same shades that's on my eye onto, what was I about to say? My lower lash line. And eventually, I'm going to go in here and put highlighter on. I don't know if it's before or after lipstick. But if lipstick is next, yeah, lipstick is next. I'm going to wipe the makeup off my lips with this wipe. I'm pretty sure this is a wipe. That's my, I want to say Becca. Okay, so. Julie, new lip. And I just put on a brown liner from NYX. It was probably brown or espresso. I keep a lot in this video. I think I was trying to pat the runtime. As you guys saw, a little bit of close before I got off the camera. This is the finished look. She's giving colorful. She's giving, she's ready for a spring. She's giving face, honey. Okay. And I am upset. Did I have a lipstick on my teeth? Yes, I did have a little lipstick on my teeth, but it's okay. Because I'm still cute. But. I love how this look turned out. Um, I did go ahead and switch to a voiceover halfway through the video because my son was acting a fool. And I don't want you guys to think I was being a bad mom and he was shelling. So we just acted like it wasn't happening and we just kept it moving and got the job done. So we finished. But if you guys like this video, you like me, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't already subscribe in the beginning, make sure you do so before you go. And let's keep it on my teeth. 
And um, like I always tell you guys, I'm your girl Tiffany. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.